first wild camp in a long time. It is very good to be out. Very good indeed. Not the wildest of spots, just the uh, edge of a small piece of woodland near my home, but good to get out nonetheless. I just put this down jacket on and realised how poor a state it's in. I've had like a, a winter of constant use of it and um, feels like the loft is gone. Stinks from a barbecue I had the other day. This isn't going to help. Got smoke and sausage fat spitting onto it. But yeah, the loft is gone so the insulation isn't there. I bet the water resistance is just, it's just non-existent now. Definitely in need of some TLC. Oh God, these sausages are burning. Have to do this. 100. Oh, burnt sausage. So now this jacket smells of burnt sausages as well. Perfect. Oh, that is good. Might as well. I think it's time for some spring cleaning. Right, I'm back in my place. It is time to wash my down jacket. So, first thing I'd say is that do not wash your down jacket with a normal laundry detergent. That could have some bad implications in that it could basically wash away all of the durable water repellent. So it can wash away the water resistant coating that your down jacket already has. It will also tend to just mask smells rather than actually getting right to the source and removing the problem that's causing the smells in the first place. So instead of a normal laundry detergent, I would recommend turning to something like Nikwax Downwash Direct. Now this stuff is gonna safely and, official and efficiently clean your down jacket without removing any of that DWR, the stuff that makes it water resistant. Now I've got a front loading washing machine you can use a top loading washing machine, but just make sure that it doesn't have an agitator because that agitator could cause some big problems with your down jacket. Oh, by the way, actually, before I carry on, going back to what I was talking about with um, normal laundry detergents, you might want to make sure to clean out the soap dish to make sure there's no residue from your, your last, um, last wash. So just get a cloth and clean that out. You might even want to stick your washing machine just on a quick cycle with nothing in it just to kind of 100% guarantee that there isn't any residue left inside it. So I'm gonna pop one jacket in, so I can smell it from here. I'm gonna pop one jacket in. You can actually, with Nick Wax, with, with a normal wash, you can actually put two jackets in at once. I'm just gonna do the one jacket for now. I'm gonna put two capfuls of the solution into the soap tray. In terms of settings, you want the temperature to be as low as possible and you also want the spin, the spins to be as slow as possible as well. So in this case, I'm going for 30 degrees C, which for Americans is gonna be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. And in terms of the RPM, I go for 400. You probably can go up to 600, I think, but in this instance, I'm gonna play it safe. Go for 400 RPMs, 30 degrees C. Um, let's get going then. Okay, so that wash is done, but we're not quite done yet because this down jacket is super old and I, yeah, I've really put it through the ringer over the years. Uh, so the water resistant coating that the jacket came with is basically non-existent now. It's just been washed away and just kind of faded away over the years. So I wanna restore the water repellency to my ja down jacket. And to do that, I'm gonna use Nick Wax Downproof. So this is gonna bring back the DWR is going to bring back the water repellency. Three capfuls of this and same settings as before, get it on another wash. Okay, so with that cycle done, we're not quite finished yet. I'd recommend sticking your washing machine on another spin, maybe even three spin cycles, just to make sure you're removing as much moisture as possible. So when you take it out of the washing machine, you'll be a bit worried because you'll see all the downs all clumped together. It looks like you've ruined your down jacket, but don't worry you haven't. Now unfortunately I don't have a tumble dryer so I'm gonna to have to do this the hard way. So take it out of the washing machine, give it a really good shake and 
get it out on the washing line on a nice sunny and windy day and keep going back to it every 15 minutes to give it another good shake and you might have to do that for up to an hour maybe even more just to make sure that the down is all loosened up and there's no balls and it's all nice and lofty and that is job done essentially if you're doing it that way if you're doing it with a tumble dryer however the much easier way first of all I would recommend sticking in two laundry balls in, in with it. If you don't have laundry balls, use a tennis ball. What this will do is kind of, it really helps to accelerate the, um, the unclumping of the down. It, it kind of loosens it all up. Settings wise, 30 degrees C is probably wise. Stick it on for 20 minutes and take a look at the down jacket, see what it's like. It might be fine after 20 minutes, but in most cases, you'll probably want to put it on another 20 minute spin. You might even want to put it on another one after that as well. Okay, so my down jacket's all clean, back to its lofty best, back to its water resistant best. I'll probably need it to be water resistant tonight because I've come out camping without my um, tent poles. So as you see here, I've had to improvise. I'm on a run down to, um, from Croydon to New Haven on the southeast coast of England on something called the Vanguard Way. Been running today 60 kilometers and got here and found that I don't have any tent pegs. I've just had about five brownies for breakfast. So I've got a spring in my step. <laughs> Sun's out. Just warming myself up in it now. I'm glad to have this down jacket back to normal anyway. Nice and lofty, keeping me lovely and warm. Made a good pillow last night as well, that's for sure. Time to crack on with my journey then. Okay, I'm back from the Vanguard Way. Managed to get down to New Haven in two days, which was, um, yeah, a bit of a slog. But anyway, what I realized was that during that run, I didn't get any rain, so I haven't actually been able to show exactly what Nick Wax has done for this jacket. So I thought, now I'm back home, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. So, see here. Look at that water resistance, wow, that is impressive. Literally, I'm running straight off. Look at that. So good. Okay, well that was a pretty long-winded way of explaining how to wash your down jacket with Nick Wax, but I hope you found that helpful and you learned a bit along the way. But yeah, if you've got any questions, fire away in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time.